Hey guys, what's up? Maya here, and today I'm going to be doing another episode of uh, Project Zomboid, and I think I'm just going to jump back into sandbox mode. Uh, if you guys do want me to, you know, go into the choose a story, let me know, but I think at the moment there's only one story anyway, and I've already covered that in my first two episodes of this, which was, like, uploaded three months ago. So I, I might do it again, you know, just for the people who haven't seen it can see it, but uh, at the moment I'm kind of, you know, avoiding it a little bit at the moment, just because I, I, I don't really want to double up. Alright, so I'm going to go back into sandbox mode, and I think I'll play someone different this time. Alright, so what do we have? We have the uh, police officer, park ranger, security guard, fire officer, and construction worker. So I can be thick-skinned and handy, but uh, does it... Okay, so faster barricading, less chances of scratches or vites breaking the skin. That actually sounds pretty good. Uh, fire officer, double speed breaking through doors with the axe and faster axe swing. Which could be cool, but uh, the chances of me finding an axe are probably a little low at the moment. So uh, the night hour requires a little sleep and stays alert even when sleeping. That actually sounds pretty good at the moment. And not affected by harsh weather uh, conditions and extra orienteering ability. And I think I played the police officer. Oh no, I haven't played the police officer yet. Marksman. Improved gun accuracy and quicker reload. Now, I'm not going to be using the gun much at all, um, so I'm actually going to go with the, uh, the Night Owl this time around, and uh, let's let's add some traits this time, you know, let's build on uh, what we did last time a little bit. Now last time um, I didn't really explain the traits, I kind of just skipped them, but basically uh, what I was saying was uh, every single time you get something really good, you have to pick up things that are, you know, really, really bad. So uh, what do we have? What's athletic? Faster running speed and can, long can run for longer without tiring. Uh, brave, less prone to becoming uh, panicked, larger perception radius, faster visibility fade, higher visibility arc, that's actually sounding alright, uh, resilient, less prone to disease, actually going to go with resilient, um, what, what am I going to, what am I going to have that, that's going to weaken me up, I'll be a light drinker, uh, who doesn't want to be a light drinker though? I mean, it's cheap. Uh, I don't want to be clumsy. I don't want to make more noise when I'm moving. A hearty appetite. I need to eat more regularly. Alright, I can go with that. Um, I'm pretty happy with having to eat more regularly because, you know, generally I have more food than I want anyway. And uh, I will, you know, be less prone to becoming a zombie and I'll have a slower rate of zombification. So, uh, yep. Yeah. That's looking good. Let's let's start. That took a little bit longer than last time. All right. So those of you that haven't seen the uh, any of the other episodes of Project Zomboid, you don't know what it's about. It's basically a zombie game, and uh, there's no end goal to it or anything. You can't stop the zombies. You can't escape. You can't find a cure. You basically have to survive for as long as you can, and you kind of define your death a little. So you know you could last for a month, but you know you're still gonna die. And I, that's what I think is kind of cool about it. It's an interesting take on the genre, and it's, uh, I know, a little bit more realistic, I guess, and it's it's fun that way. Okay, so let's hope that, that we get spawned somewhere nice, uh, hopefully with a weapon. Okay, so this is how we died. Okay, so uh, we spawned in a bathroom, and uh, that's that's actually not too bad of a start, because uh, what do we have? We've got some painkillers, antidepressants, and sleeping tablets, uh, you know, right off the bat, and that's uh, really, really going to help us out. Okay, so we are on the second floor of a building as well, or even the third floor, actually. I can't actually see the bottom there. So uh, this is good. This means we can make a little bit more noise. Uh, we can kind of walk around pretty relaxed but uh, I actually I actually hear a zombie so uh, I wouldn't say it's a stretch to uh, you know assume that it's going to be actually in the room now um, I am not going to take that food out of the fridge at the moment uh, I will do it but uh, not yet um, I'll wait until I'm actually ready to leave and that's because all of this food here is uh, perishable so we've got the uncooked salmon uh, the uncooked chicken and the carrots, and well, they'll probably last a little while. I'll still leave them in there, you know, just until I actually need them. Okay, so I'll just check in here quickly. On well, the off chance that there is a weapon. But uh, there's still some nails, and we can still get some more tissues. Okay. 
So we're actually going to have to go out here now. And uh, I'm kind of hoping that I'm not going to run into the zombie yard uh, too soon. Okay, so we're still alright. Uh, I can't actually hear the zombie anymore. So uh, perhaps it's on the first floor there. Which is good because it's going to take them time to get up the stairs. It's going to take them time to get through the door. And uh, in the meantime, it gives me uh, it gives me time to kind of search. And this place it looks exactly the same as the uh, the place where I just was. That's that's weird. How alike they actually look. I thought I actually went up the wrong um, set of stairs for a second. All right, so we'll just go back through. No, we don't need any more tissues. We don't want to carry too much on us. Okay, no more tissues. Uh, a can opener that uh, that will definitely come in handy. We do have the pot, so we actually can cook ourselves up some food. All right, so I'm going to go back up uh, up another layer, and uh, we'll see if we can actually find anything useful. And we probably will spend the night here. Um, it's pretty safe. It's uh, pretty secure, and uh, as you can see, it, it just keeps going up and up. So um, I'm really going to need the uh, you know the extra time to explore. Now, I do have the Night Owl perk as well, so uh, I don't have to worry about, uh, you know, getting home on time to sleep exactly. Uh, because, well, basically my guy doesn't need to sleep as much. He's a security guard, so he's used to long night hours. Uh, you know, it's just, just kind of adapted into his, you know, everyday life. So, you know, that's going to work out well for us. It uh, won't put as much stress on. Okay, so he is a little peckish. Okay, whiskey's probably not going to make you feel much better, especially when you're a light drinker. But, there you are, some chocolate. You know, that's a morale boost as well, that's going to make him feel a little bit better. It's going to release those endorphins. Okay, but, wow, there's a lot of whiskey in this place. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to take the whiskey anyway. Uh, in case I do decide to make our Molotov cocktails at some point. Okay, so I think I can actually afford to run a little bit. It is getting late, so it won't matter too much if I tire myself out. And, uh, I really don't think there's actually any zombies in this building, except for maybe on the, uh, the first floor. Which I will have to keep in mind, because, you know, I, I can't just stay in this building forever. And, uh, I am gonna, I am gonna have to leave via the first floor at some point. So I was really, really hoping I was actually gonna be able to find, uh, a weapon in one of these floors up here. But it looks like I might just have to kind of make a run for it. Which uh, is, is an ideal, but, you know, sometimes there's not a lot we can do. Okay, um, do I already have a lighter? I've got two lighters. Okay, I definitely don't need another one at the moment then. Alright, so let's ha start heading back downstairs. Um, I will probably collect some of the food. I th think I missed that fridge, but, you know, we, we don't want to carry too much on us. We actually got a little way down in that last video, and uh, we... It's it slowed us down and probably ultimately led to our death. That and the fact that uh, I didn't actually use the sheets to bandage myself up. All right. So it's eight o'clock now, so it is dark. Uh, there's no lights on, and I don't actually think we can turn lights on in any of these houses. But uh, that's all right. We wouldn't want to attract that attention anyway, because while those zombies can't see upstairs, uh, I'm pretty sure they're going to be able to see the light. So just checking all these things again, and nope, nothing useful. Okay. So I think one more layer, and... Or if we go down one more flight of stairs, and we'll be on the floor that we started on. Yep, okay, so now we're on the second floor, or is it the third floor? I think this is the second floor, because I can hear the zombie again, just slightly in the background. Okay, we'll leave that food there for now, and uh, I'm actually going to sleep. It's a bit past nine, and hopefully we'll be able to get up nice and early. Because uh, we're actually going to need quite a bit of time if we're going to, you know, find a new safe house, uh, find someone new to crash. Okay, okay, oh shit. I can actually hear something banging on the door. Okay, so that door still has uh, 5 out of 5 health. So, uh, it's not coming from there. But uh, this is <laughs> actually making me a little nervous. I'm not sure where the zombie is going to come from. And Oh, wow. It's Okay, it's getting really loud now. OK, 
Okay, I'm just going to go down here. Now, ideally, I want to see where they are before I kind of head downstairs, but... It doesn't look like it's going to happen, and... Okay, so this door has 5 out of 5 health, and we can basically use that as an indicator to uh, kind of let us know if or if, uh, if or if not a zombie is actually kind of being there. Right, so we'll take that stake, but I'm not sure how long we're actually going to be able to keep it before it goes off. Uh, is there a bedside table in here? Yes, there is, but of course they're not going to have a baseball bat hiding in that, you know, bedside table. And we should be able to get some more meds. Alright, so we've got some beta blockers. And uh, some antidepressants, also painkillers. You know, which is which is kind of what you want. I mean, I guess if you're going to be in a zombie apocalypse, you may as well, you know, become a prescription junkie while you're at it. Oh, okay. So, wow, we were actually a lot higher up than I, I originally thought. So that's making me feel a little bit better. I can't actually hear the zombies anymore. But uh, now I'm kind of just wondering, where exactly were they? Wait, I think I, I think I may have just heard a, like a screech. Yeah, I can I can still hear them breathing. Oh, there we go. So there are zombies outside, and it has actually started raining. Okay, so we'll take those nails. Uh, we don't want those tissues. And uh, let's 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 have some food. Let's eat some carrots. Alright, so we're fed. But by the sounds of it, all those zombies are outside. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, so maybe there's some survivors out there or along there because there's a lot of dead zombies there. And uh, zombies don't kill zombies, so. You know, there, there would have to be someone there, you know, for that to have happened. Okay, now I do have to be careful here. Like, I do want these drinks. And I do want to check these drawers because I do need the weapons. But... Oh, a baseball bat! I actually, I actually got something! Yes! Okay, okay. This is good. This is really, really good. Okay, now before... Yep, yeah, okay, so I've got my baseball bat equipped. And I can attack with it. Um, I will... I will go get some more, uh, more drugs just out of the uh, thing, but there is a lot of zombies outside, I can hear them. I can just hear them and there is a lot. Oh fuck, oh fuck, they weren't meant to see me, they weren't meant to see me, oh shit, I, okay, okay, it'll be alright, it'll be alright, this, there we go, I can actually kill people this game. Whoa! Who the fuck? Dude, why are you shooting a shotgun? They're gonna know we're here. Can I, can I talk to you? Andrew Lewis. Andrew Lewis, you're fucking crazy. I'm wet, so my speed is slightly reduced. Okay. So we can't go in the bank because there's just, there's too many windows there. Not to mention there is also zombies in there. Uh, we, we, we need to, uh, it's locked, okay. A hardware store would be ideal, uh, we might be able to find an axe in there. And if I kind of follow this guy, I may, I, I, I can kind of use him as protection. I just have to be careful though, because he's making a fucking lot of noise. And, uh, that noise is going to be what gets us killed. Okay, so what is that? That's a doorknob, I don't know. What, what the fuck, I don't want a doorknob. Uh, okay, I, I just wish it would tell me, you know, kind of what I'm picking up before I get it. I don't, I don't want door hinges either. Uh, screwdrivers, there's nails. Uh, but nothing, nothing too useful. Uh, chocolate, I'll take some more nails. Because, you know, why not? Okay. So that guy's just chilling. Okay, I can actually kind of use him as a guard a little bit. Oh shit, we found the owner. We found the owner. Okay. I'm actually feeling kind of good about this place. Um, 
we may actually be able to crash here for the night. And, you know, still still make it out tomorrow. Okay, oh, we got a shotgun. Good. Oh, uh, we don't have any ammo for it, but uh, we have a shotgun, so that's a start. But, uh, like I said, it does make a lot of noise, and it will attract a lot of zombies, so we want to kind of avoid using it. At the moment, I'm kind of hoping that NPC goes around and starts shooting other people. Uh, so he draws the attention away from uh, me a little. And I can kind of just relax here for the night. Okay, so we get some beta blockers. Okay, I'm actually going to increase the speed here a little bit. So I'm peckish and uh, I, am, I am tired now. Okay, so I am hungry. Uh, what do we have to eat? I, I don't think I should eat that food there. But I will eat the carrot. And I will go back out to the fridge and I will, uh, I will put the meat in the fridge. And that door has opened, so, uh, it's it. Oh, fuck me. Why did the guy come back? He's came back. And he's making a lot of noise. But it's too late now. We, we kind of committed to this. We kind of committed to this, you know, when we hit the wait button, but... Ah, not to worry. It'll be alright. I'll shut the door behind me. I'm on, I'm on high ground. They're not going to be able to get to me. And before I go to sleep, I just want to try one thing out. And that is going to be baseball bat. Nails. And I think I need a hammer. There we go. That's uh, that's that's going to enable me to do a little bit more damage. So let's just uh, sleep. Okay, so uh, that, that guy with the shotgun doesn't seem to be sleeping, he just seems to be up all night shooting and uh, kind of drawing attention to us. Not to worry, when my guy wants to wake up, we should be set to go. But that actually sounds like someone's being eaten. I don't know if you guys can hear that. And I can actually hear a lot of zombies. Oh, dude, no. Okay, I'm going to have to get out of here. I'm going to have to get out of here quick. Can I see out onto the street? How are we looking down there? We're actually not looking too bad. But I do not want to be there any longer than I need to. There was a lot of zombies there. Okay, there we go. The spiked bat is uh, actually really, really effective at the moment. Okay, so we kind of... We, if, we, if we stay in the thicker grass, I think uh, it might increase our chances of surviving a little bit. Uh, well, there's still going to be zombies in here. Uh, only these zombies are going to see us. There's not going to be like this huge kind of cone of uh, cone of space where the zombies can see us from because the trees are blocking it. And uh, I'm I'm pretty comfortable to you know be able to take on maybe one or two zombies at once, uh, especially when I kind of have the room and I'm kind of out in the middle of nowhere where uh, the sounds not going to be heard either. Yeah, so it's only 9 a.m. and what's that? I think. I may have found uh, our next safe house for the night. I am aware that it is early, but, you know, we don't want to push our luck. If, th if this place is going to be a suitable safe house, you know, it's it's just going to be an extra day that we can survive, and, oh, fuck yeah, you know, I'm, I'm all for that. Okay, so if we can just get these zombies' attention, instead of them running away from us, there we go. Okay, and I can't actually hear any more zombies. Oh, there's one more inside. So we get some wooden planks, some more chocolate, uh, some wooden planks. What's in that one? Okay, more wooden planks, which is actually really good because we should be able to kind of barricade some of these windows. Alright, so we do have a sheet. Uh, do we want clothes? Um, I'm not actually sure if clothes are going to make much of a difference for us. I have a sweater and trousers. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I'd, I'd rather have long clothes. 
uh, kind of equipped than these kind of, you know, sh short vests and things. Okay, so I just want to confirm that I did get everything. I can get a battery, but I don't know if there's actually a use for it. Okay, now before I go to sleep, I'm actually going to have to do a little bit of work, though. I can't just go to sleep like this. Okay, so if we get the planks of wood out, there we are, we've got five planks. I can barricade these windows, but, oh, it actually looks like it's going to take a lot more uh, than I was kind of hoping to barricade these. Because the aim was just to kind of reduce visibility. Alright, I'm, I'm going to keep that last plank there. Just, uh, just in case. I can actually hear zombies outside. I am hungry, so uh, before I go out, uh, I, I might have to just get rid of this meat because I don't, I don't, I don't actually know how to cook it, so it's going to have to be something I look into a little bit. And there are zombies outside. Let's just, let's just see where they are. I'd, I'd rather deal with them before going to sleep. I still have a few hours. I. Uh, of daylight left. Okay, I can't actually see them. Okay, I think I might actually be right. So let's just speed time up a tiny little bit. Because we don't want to go to sleep too early and then wake up and have lots of night time left. Okay, so it's about 9 o'clock at the moment. I am a little bit hungry. And I am actually running out of food very, very fast. I, I have three chocolate bars left though. So I'll eat the rest of those now and I'll also eat one extra thing of carrots. I'm well fed, so long healing and strength boost. Yes, I'd like to sleep. It's 11 o'clock and uh, hopefully we'll get up about 7. Well, hopefully we do actually wake up at the moment because... <laughs> I'm not sure how effective those barricades are actually going to be at kind of cancelling out the line of sight. But our fingers crossed. Okay, so we're awake, it's uh, 8 a.m. And things are actually looking pretty good. I'm still well fed, so I still have my uh, my boost. And there appears to be no zombies nearby. I could actually live there for a few days, but um, you know, where's the fun in that? I actually do need to explore a little bit more. I am running low on food. Okay, so there's a few zombies up here, but there's also a few crates. Okay, what's this? I've never actually seen this before. Two planks of wood, thank you. Uh, more planks of wood, a fuel can. Nails, more planks of wood. And what's that? Another fuel can. So I'm carrying a really heavy load, yeah. Um, I'm not wrong about that. I'm actually just gonna try get rid of this stuff. I, I don't know if I can actually drop it on the ground though. I might have to put it in a fridge perhaps. Yeah okay I'm gonna I'm gonna have to put those items like actually inside something otherwise it won't let me drop them. Alright let's let's go back. Okay so I will put in an uncooked steak some uncooked some uncooked basically everything I think I have every, pretty much every animal on me at the moment there we go because we only want one fuel can because they are they are heavy they weigh 12 uh, I'm, I'm just going to assume that's kilos and uh, we don't really want to carry that around we'll get rid of this door hinge we're still right I, I can hear the zombies but I can't actually see them so let's let's just try get rid of a few more things. We definitely do not need pens. We still want that cooking pot, but we'll also get rid of that. 
And before we go... Before we go, I will just make some uh, bandages. Just in case I do get bit, um, I'm kind of set to, you know, start healing myself pretty much straight away. Uh, so I, I won't have to worry about the bite as much. Okay, so it is 12 o'clock, so I'm actually am going to have to hurry the fuck up a little bit if uh, I'm going to want to find another house be, uh, before sunset. So quite a heavy load. I'm carrying a little bit too much. All right. So it looks like my guy's just getting worn out a lot faster. That's just... Oh! Whoa. Holy shit, I almost just got a fucking chunk taken out of me by that zombie. Oh, I can actually hear my guy's heart beating and he is fucking freaking out. Oh, uh, do I have any beta blockers? Beta blockers. Beta blockers. Fucking eat them all. There we go. He's not scared anymore. He just fucking swallowed half a fucking capsule. What if those things are called? Alright, so who do we have here actually? Is it gonna tell me his name? Lois Cox. I have never before met a man named Lois. That is, uh. That is a first for me. Yeah, there are zombies there, but they're actually going for him. And, uh, you know, that's that's alright. Okay, so, so... I have to... I have to find a suitable house, but I'm actually running out of... I'm actually getting tired really, really fast. I think the next house I go to, I might actually have to... Kind of take another look at my supplies and, uh, you know, really just see what I want to do with that. Because at the moment, I'm struggling to walk. Oh, fuck off. Fuck! Fuck, I didn't see him! Oh, no. Oh, thank God. Okay, that could have ended badly. I did just did not see that guy at all. But we do want those ten wooden planks. That is, uh... Heavy load. Okay, I can barely move now because I have so much crap. Okay, let's just open this back up. Let's just get rid of some of this stuff. Okay, what don't we need? We don't need a shotgun. We, as much as I want to keep the shotgun, just, you know, in case... Oh, I really need that. I don't actually have any shotgun shells anyway, so I'm going to get rid of that. And I think I'm going to get rid of these three whiskey bottles. And... Yeah, that's 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 all I can really do at the moment. I'm just going to have to go back inside, uh, rest, and uh, hope hope that tomorrow is a little bit better for me. So I'm still carrying too much, and I'm still getting exhausted really, really fast. Okay, so we've made it inside. Let's see, what do, what do we have to eat? Okay, we got some carrots. Um, and we do have a pot. I think I might actually cook myself some soup. So if I open up this oven here... Um, hold on, if I open this up, I should be able to put my can opener in with the canned soup. We'll cook that for about 30 minutes. I gotta keep track of that. We, uh, we don't want a house fire. Okay, so... I will get rid of one of those can openers. I don't need to. And, oh shit, there is a guy outside. I hope he doesn't want to come in or make a fucking lot of noise like that last guy did. Yeah, so we'll keep that other one. And we'll be sure to take this out now before it gets a little too hot. Uncooked pot of soup. What? It was in there for 40 minutes. How long does it take to cook this thing? Okay, so we'll put it on for another half hour. There we go, now it's cooked. And I'm actually, holy shit, I did not see him. 
What is this guy? He kind of looks like someone from Greece. Patrick James. That's kind of a cool name. That one might be called Patrick James. I don't even know what my guy's called. Alright, so let's go back in. And, uh... No. I don't want to sleep yet. I want to eat my soup. There we go. I'm pretty well fed now. That's, uh... Let's have a sleep. So I think we're four days in at the moment. Um, this is probably the uh, the best streak I've ever had. But uh, they actually have nerfed the uh, the hordes for this game. So uh, when zombies came, they used to come in literally the hundreds, and uh, now they only come in maybe you know ten, twenty. Okay, so we're back awake now. It's 5 a.m. Uh, we still do have quite a heavy load on us. So we don't want to be picking up much of anything else. Let's let's just go back through and just have a look at the things that we're not going to need. Okay, so we do want the soda. Wow! Okay, so that's where all of the weight has gone. 136 kilos, or not probably, probably pounds, I'll say. There we are, that's... Okay, so now we're down to 64 weight. Uh, our weight's looking a little bit better now. Uh, that that Patrick James guy is kind of following me around like a creep, but that's alright. Actually... Okay, okay, someone is outside. Someone is getting fucking eaten alive. Uh, fuck that. Sh shut the goddamn door. Alright. Now, to me, that sounds like a horde. And, uh, we, we definitely do not want to go up against a horde. Okay. So, I'm utterly shit-faced at the moment. Uh, my coordination is severely impaired. And uh, I, I can actually feel that. But, you know, sometimes you don't really get much of a choice in the matter of these things. So let's just make ourselves a Molotov. Ah, uh, fuck. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. Why? Why is my guy naked? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Rick James is dead. No, not Rick James. What's his name? Peter James. Peter James. Well, at least I'm going to go out shit-faced, I guess. Uh, this is not necessarily, uh... The end, though. I mean, the oh fuck, fuck. Fuck, fuck. What the fuck? Did he just kill me? I just got killed by Peter James or Patrick James. I can't. Wow. Wow. I. I... Okay. I. I did. I just didn't expect that to happen. All right. Well, uh, yeah. That's probably going to be the episode of um, you know my second attempt at a Let's Play of Project Zomboid. Uh, if you guys like this, be sure to give it a thumbs up, favorite, and subscribe. And also check me on Facebook and Twitter. I'll see you guys in the next video.